Good morning, Stampin' Peeps. It's so good to be with you today. It is Friday. Oh, I don't even know what day it is. Friday, April 5th, maybe? Yeah, April 5th. Ha! It's Friday, and it's time for Facebook Friday. And I've got some cute things to share with you today. I've got my Take 3 class this afternoon, and I'll explain a little bit about that in a second and show you um, some of the things that we're doing at Facebook Friday, or at um, the Take 3 class. And... Um, I, got, I actually, actually think I'm going to take you on a little tour here um, and discuss the um, stamp, stamp, uh, the storage by Stampin' Up! so we can see that. So when you um, get on here, make sure you give me a high five and tell me that you, I don't know, tell me what you're going to do today, I don't, uh, whatever. Um, I see Tracy's here. My desk is still clean, Tracy. It's almost, I'm almost ready for the other one. Hey, Tammy, good to see you too. So, um, Let's see, what am I gonna do this weekend? I have a uh, work this weekend, I have a baby shower, and I actually have the card stamped already, go figure. So, um, and hopefully you get outside and do a little bit of cleaning. I need to get Ella's room. We were in the process of getting her room um, redone because it's just, it's time, it's time. Um, it was Adria's, and so now that Adria's moved out and alone, on her own, um, it's time to get Ella's um, room redone so hey Deb yeah you're right you are traveling good to see you it was nice uh, being with you yesterday so all right I am going to flip you around and um, share with you the projects that we're doing for take three um, my take three class I do this once a month it is open to anyone that wants to come make three cards the class is free when you place a $25 order so um, it's a win-win it's it's so much fun and the cards that we've got today are pretty fun and I'll show you those in a second so um and what we do is like i said it's open to anyone so you know you don't there's no commitment you don't have to ever come again you can you know come as many times as you want there is no commitment to the take three class now if you do want to um reap some of the hostess benefits i have a little side um part of it called the um, the rewards club so the rewards club members can come to class um, with a, they only have to place a $20 order, but because they're committing to coming eight consecutive times, they re, um, they rotate the hostess benefits amongst themselves. So um, I'm finishing up two clubs here in April, um, rewards clubs, um, finishing up two of them. And so we'll be starting new ones in May. So if you want to get in on the, all the fun, um, make sure you do that on my website on the stinkingcutecards.com i have a little section that is um, available just to the rewards club members that has exclusive content and we've got um, challenges and fun stuff like that so um plus oh, you know we have some fun stuff i'm going to give away a stamp set to them um this month with a challenge i don't know it's just some you know an extra fun so but they do get to be um hostesses once in that eight um eight months and to date i've been doing this for several years to date we have always achieved the half price item so you know some of those higher ticket items that um you're looking at you know that you you know are admiring in the catalog this would be a great time to um you know put that on your list and become a rewards club member so let's see here i'm gonna flip you around hey debbie good to see you too all right and let's flip you guys around and i'm gonna show you the cards because it's all about stamping right all right let's get you all right and hopefully my stand will stay here you know how that is we've had issues with that my morning started off with um i was putting the milk away and dumped an entire bottle of what was it you know three cheese vinegar and oil salad dressing all over the floor it dropped out of the refrigerator and completely shattered the lid so i was mopping up oil and vinegar off my floor at you know 8 30 this morning annoying so let's make sure that this is a little more fun when oh, i see you can see my you don't want to see that let's see if i can yeah it don't matter i guess right this this one right here um well we're just just ignore that okay um we're having technical difficulty but it isn't the worst thing that we've ever had so okay let's see let's start with the cards that we are doing for take three class i thought these were really quite fun the um the featured card this featured color this month is berry burst and remember berry burst is a color that will be retiring here the retiring list will come out april 15th and um once that retiring list comes out it is while supplies last so if you know you like berry burst if you like tranquil tide powder pink fresh fig or the lemon lime twist i said it right this time i'm usually saying lucky lemonade but lemon lime twist if those colors are on your list make sure that you stock up before the 15th because once that retiring list goes live 
it is while supplies last. And I have had customers that are begging and um, begging for cardstock later in the in the month, and it is already gone. So I would say the cardstock and the refills will sell out first. That's just my opinion. It's based on you know past experience, but. Um, Berry Burst, it's a fun color. It's really kind of a, it's just so happy. I love it. So this is a card that we did um, for the Take 3. And again, I have another session starting. Um, it's open from 1 until uh, 8 today. So again, if you're you know in the area and want to stop in and make some cards, by all means. So that's number one. Here's number two. This is one of my favorites. This is using the Butterfly Bundle um, that is available and in stock again. Oh, swoon worthy. I love this. And we just used up some um, sequins on this one. So that is another one outside and inside and I will actually be making videos of these and you can find those on my YouTube channel make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and so here is the last one this one is the little teapot um, card that we're making and it is we're using a technique called crack glass and that's the technique that I want to demonstrate for you here today so um, it's really kind of fun it's it doesn't it's not as hard as it looks but it does take a little bit of time and so um, let's go ahead and show you how to do that Okay, so let's pull my bucket over here. Um, and I think I forgot to grab white cardstock, but I'm sure I have some on this messy desk over here. We've got some. Okay. Hey, Ruby, good morning to you too. So, hi, Darla. Good to see you as well. All right, so here is the first um, step in making that little teapot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink that with Memento ink because I'm going to um, use the blends to color that in. So there you go. Now I have a little tip. So if you'll notice on my card, it looks like I've got the flowers here, but not on the spout or the handle. So let me show you how that is done. Um, my friend Barb gave me um, some of these. They're called Super Sticky Post-it Notes. These things are game changers. They're amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp another one. Remember last, I think last month we did um, Last month we did the masking technique so that we could get a whole chorus of frogs. So this month we're doing a reverse technique and I'm just stamping it on one of those post-it notes. And what I'm doing is, I may have made this a little tight. I'm doing the same thing, I'm making a mask. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to save, I want to save the negative. Does that make sense? I wanna save this part because I am going to mask here. I know, mind blowing, isn't it? Put this here and here. And we're gonna do the same thing here. I want to. So this one is gonna go right here. Isn't that cool? So here's what you're gonna do then. You can take your little flower and we're gonna stamp here, we're gonna stamp here, and we're gonna stamp here. So then when I remove my mask, my handles and my spout were not stamped. I know, isn't that so cute? It's so cool, it's such a fun technique. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and use our blends and we're gonna get um, a teapot that looks like that. So now the next step is a little, next step is a little time consuming, but I have a couple of tips for you. Um, one of the things is make sure that you have a well inked Versamark pad. The squishier the better. And so um, it's always good to have a refill for your Versamark. I'm gonna take my um, teapot and I'm gonna take my Versamark pad and this is one of our silicone mats. Um, it's worth its weight in gold. And I'm just gonna ink the bejeepers out of that. Just doot doot. Okay. All right. I've got clear embossing powder and I'm gonna dump clear embossing powder. You see that? Clear embossing powder over the entire teapot. All right, then take my heat tool, and a lot of times I'll just leave it right on here. And I have to be careful so that I don't heat up. The last time I embossed on here, I wrecked the, 
<laughs> the, the plastic mat. So I'm not going to emboss on the ground for you this time. So what you're going to do is you're just going to, can you see how that is um, changing? The whole, the whole teapot will be glossy then. It's going. Can you kind of see that? I'm going to get the whole thing done here. Now remember, this was a set that's in the spring catalog, and the um, the framelits were a an exclusive item that was available. Well, it was an item that was available with a hundred dollar order during celebration. Now, if you didn't get that one and you're loving this teapot and you're kind of kicking yourself that you didn't get those framelits, remember they will be available for purchase once the new catalog comes live in Jan uh, in June. So, um, pretty cool. And again, new catalogs; those should be coming. Um, I will heading. To Okay. Ah, shut off. So there my teapot is completely embossed. You can kind of see that it's pretty glossy. Okay, step number two. You're gonna do the same thing with the Versamark all over again. You're gonna ink the whole thing and you are going to emboss it with another layer of embossing powder. Now, the trick is, um, for rewards, or for the Take Three class, I had the, the ladies and gentlemen do um, four, four embossings. To get a really good crack pattern, I would probably recommend five or six, but I just didn't want to have to feed these guys breakfast because it take, does take a little while, and don't think that you're not going to use a lot of embossing powder. Um, let's see, I, I, you know, it's not excessive, so it is worth it. Is worth it. But remember, um, I would say five or six of the embossing things to truly get good cracking um, we had we had it was fine with four but I think five or six looks better so then the next tip is you got to stick it in your freezer stick it in your freezer for five a minimum of five minutes and when it comes out it's ready to be cracked Do you hear that cool cool so um the ladies last night were saying that this is called crazing with your you know like if you have um, porcelain or teapots that have cracked like that it's called crazy I did not know that and you know maybe you didn't either but so you've learned at least one new thing today so then what you're gonna do you probably can't see the cracks real you can kind of see them but not a lot what you're gonna do is you're gonna take I took smoky slate because that was the color that I was kind of using and what you're gonna do is you're just going to um, burnish and, and you do have to kind of um, get in the cracks a little bit and it's gonna pick up the color wherever a crack is. Do you see how that is? I know it's so cool. Now, um, if you want more of a distressed vintage look, soft suede looks really nice with this technique. Um, you know, burnishing it with soft suede, it makes it look kind of vintage and, and cool. So isn't that kind of neat? See how the teapot just is crazed like that. Love it. It's a great technique. And then when we put it together using um, the needlepoint framelits and the um, well said framelits this is what it looks like so that was the card that we did so isn't it cute I also did the same technique but I only embossed it once I just wanted the rose glossy I didn't want it cracked um, so I just did the, the rose just one time and then this time we did four here again four to six would be adequate so isn't it awesome so cute yeah Ruby it goes a lot quicker than you think it does so um, the ladies the ladies did quite well last night and so loved it so anyways um, real quick um, if you make sure that you give me a thumbs up on the video and um, share the video uh, out there on your social media and next week I will draw for someone will get this card in the mail along with two tickets to the scrapbook expo um, coming up on May I think it's third and fourth it's Friday and Saturday in May the first Friday and Saturday in May so if you are interested in um, getting some free tickets make sure that you share my video and um, make sure that you follow me here too on Facebook so that you get some of the updates so so any questions about that let's move on to stamp and storage stamp and storage is a new product that we debuted April 1st and it is pretty cool so I'm gonna give you I'm gonna take you on a little tour here in the studio and kind of show you mine so um, hopefully nobody everybody has their Dramamine I'm gonna take you around here I'm gonna flip you so I guess I don't need to flip you. Okay. 
So this is the stamp and storage. We have several different um, options for the stamp and storage. It can be configured any way that you want. We have the pads, they hold five blends, open storage, storage topper, or the lid. So let me go show you what it looks like in real life. And I'm gonna show you my desk. I can prove to Tracy that my desk is, is fairly clean over there. I'm embossing for class and Rob's got his stuff there. So um, it actually is pretty clean, isn't it awesome? So here is our stamp and storage. I, I set mine up and um, I'll kind of explain what, what I did and why I did it. So um, this is probably our, the main, the, the other, my other favorite um, storage um, option and that is stamp and storage. Um, it's a company, you can, you can Google stamp and storage. Um, what I have found is these are nice and sturdy, um, but what I found is um, they don't have markers storage with the new pads. So you can get old pads storage with markers, but not the new pads. And if you were to use the new pads in the old system, you have to use a spacer. Not a big deal, but um, again, um, it is a little less expensive than our system. But what I really like about our system is the fact that it is customizable. So you can, what I've done is I've put, I don't have a lot of room here. So I stacked, um, you know, 15, I'm trying to step away here. I stamped, I, I stacked 15 of them. So I have like the subtles, the bolds, the um, regals and the neutrals. And then because I have two of the, um, the in colors last, last year's and this year's, I've put those right there because I didn't want to have it real spread out. With this system, you are stuck. It's, you know, you got your 50, you can't, you can't do anything else. This one, if you have 65 pads, you can add another system. So that is, it's, that's really cool is that you can customize it, customize it a little bit. And the cool thing is too, is that you can see I've got a mix of old pads and new pads. These are the open storage cubes. They work really nice for obviously open storage. What I'm going to use with mine is I'm going to take this out and I'm gonna put my, my weird weird pads like the stays on and the mementos in there. They also work really nice if you are using, you know, some of these little, I, I have my um, dimensionals in something like that, dimensionals and flat glue dots. That works really nice there as well. So you have, um, you can put your, they have a little storage case on the top. You can put one of those on and, or you can do a lid or you can do a storage um, container. Either one works really well. Now, um, I've got room for the markers. Now, they're really kind of the game changer. The thing that I think is so cool is that that blends, um, the blends, uh, we have a blends option. You, you can order the thing to store your blends. Now, I have mine over here in my pullout drawer that my dad, and I have lots of them. And so I am storing them in these clear cases, but obviously not everybody has multiples of every blends. So what you can do is you can do the little pieces to be on the top of your, say what you have, your regals or whatever color, you can put your blends or your Copics in those storages and they will match the colors that are in there. And again, you can, you can stack this however high, however wide you can, you know, have, you know, spaces, it's it's cool because it's customizable so um what i did was i placed an order um for these and then i used my hostess rewards to um stock up on um you know the lids and a few things like that so that is our storage by stampin up and it is pretty cool i i like that it's white um it's it's bright it's happy um yeah i, I really think it's pretty cool so um it makes my desk look kind of fun and you can kind of see how that that looks out there so Again, um, it, it's cool. I like that it can be, um, you know, kind of mixed mixed up a little bit. So yeah, I know it is pretty cool. So, all right, that is probably all that I've got for you today. I wanted to share the cards for the Take Three class and that um, cracked glass technique. That is so cool. Um, but again, yeah, um, make sure that you share the video and I will pick a winner from the shares to... Um, win the, or not, I guess, win, yeah, it is win. You win two free tickets to the Scrapbook Expo. And if you can't go, I'm sure you have a friend, a creative friend that would love to go um, with two free tickets. So thanks again, peeps. We will see you. Make sure that you share this and like this as much as you can. Thanks. Toodaloo.